Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Wednesday. It is the 21st, I believe, of September 2022. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know. So we did have a, a bunch of apples left over here. So uh, I was gonna, well, first of all, before we get into the video, uh, I just wanna let you know I'll be live streaming tonight uh, at 8 p.m. Topic to be determined. We'll figure that one out when we get close to do that. This video is going to obviously be going up late because uh, I had to get out and do some running around today. So one of the things I picked up was a galvanized trash can. I went over to Rule King actually and checked them out. I've never been to there. Loved what they got in that store. Um, so a couple things, and I'm going to show you what I got, what I'm doing. Uh, so I actually stopped and picked up a bale of straw. So what I'm doing here is you put a layer of straw down first. Then you put a layer of apples, and actually I can throw a couple more apples in here. Alright, so layer of apples. And I'm going to go with another layer of straw. I'll put more apples in there. I'm probably going to need another garbage can more than this one. Uh, but I'm going to try to get as much as I can in here. Uh, once that is all set and we got that all ready, this will go down um, actually into the bunker hole for now because that's going to be the coolest place that it could go. So I, the lid, the way that the garbage can lid is, is like that. I'll take a, one of the blocks over here and I'll put that on top of the lid so that nothing can get into that. And then that way, you know, we'll be able to preserve and save a bunch of the apples that way through the winter, and they're going to be there, and we can utilize them when we want to eat them. Uh, it's just a, it's a way of doing, preserving, uh, secure, keeps, a, you know, with the layers, it's going to help keep the apples so that they're not, you know, uh, all on top of each other. If I just fill this up with apples, it's going to, you're going to have some that are going to rot faster than the others, and it's going to affect the other apples. So, with layering it, you're helping your apples out more and stuff like that. So that's one of the things that, uh, you know, so I'm going to get that done, get this down in there. Uh, the other day when I was down in the hole, uh, because I'm as deep as I am now, I'm getting a lot of fumes with uh, the jackhammer. And I could feel it was getting to me. So what I did today also is I picked up this adjustable fan so I can run an extension cord. Um, and, you know, put that down at the bottom of the hole and have that air blowing, blowing that, uh, those fumes and things out. And so that was something that before I got back in there and worked anymore in the hole, I wanted to get that. So that's another thing that I did today. Uh, I thought that that was important. And so, you know, trying to be as safe as I possibly could be. Picked up some stove piping as well, uh, in preparation so when winter comes, I have it already here when we're setting things up for the wood stoves and stuff like that. Um, I have the one wood stove that I had in the back of the truck. And uh, that's down at the blue house right now because that's where that wood stove is going to end up going is in that blue house. So uh, I have another wood stove uh, covered up over by the water buckets that was given to me as well. And I will utilize that someplace as well. I'm not 100% sure yet where I'm going to put that, but we'll figure those things out as we go. So I have two wood stoves here now, um, plus a small one that I had showed you up in New York. So I have that one down here as well. So I actually have three different little, you know, the one is a very small wood stove, obviously, but we have the three wood stoves here now, uh, two decent size, and, uh, you know, so we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, so that's what, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, running around getting that stuff done today. I picked up, uh, while I was at Rule King, I picked up a couple of chainsaws, blades, not chainsaws. I have the, I have the two Husqvarna chainsaws, uh, so I ended up picking up some, two blades more for each of those because, again, redundancy. One is none and two is one. So I have the blade that are on each of the chainsaws and plus now. And I do have other blades as well. But I wanted to make sure that I have more. So that was kind of my thinking with that. So making sure that I have plenty. And so that way uh, we'll be doing a lot more wood cutting soon. And I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, good sharp blades uh, available. So with it, when I'm doing it, if they start to get dull, 
then I can just switch it out and have no issues. Uh, I did want to address something uh, today as well. A couple of comments, and I understand where these comments are coming from, so I wanted to address them, and I did not take them as trollish, so I'm going to put that out there right away. Uh, a couple of comments were made about my number one priority should be water. I should be developing my water sources. Um, that's more important than anything else. And I agree that it's very important that I develop my water sources, but unfortunately finances right now are not going to allow me to do that. Okay. Uh, there is a spring box on the road. Uh, I could utilize that if I need to. Uh, so there's a source of water there. Uh, we obviously, I have the rain catchment system as well. Obviously in the winter that's probably going to freeze. That's, you know, that's what's going to happen with that. Uh, I don't know what the winters are going to be like down here. All right, I have not been down here through a winter yet, so I really don't know. Oh, well, there's a big smudge stain right there, and I apologize that that was there. Uh, but anyway, there is, um, there's, I, I have access to water if I need it, okay? Do the springs need to be developed? Yes, they do. Um, there are other things that we were, oh, look at this, yeah. So there she is, completely soaking wet because she just went down to the spring and jumped into the one spring. Uh, I have access to water down here. I have access to water on the other side as well. Those can be developed, and they will be developed. I promise you that will be something that is, in, is going to happen. It's just right now it's finances um, that's holding me up. I just was looking at Rule King. I'll give you an example. A 330-gallon water tank is around 450 bucks all right i don't have 450 bucks at my disposal at the moment so that's not something and actually the tank that i want to put down over here on this spring i want to put down at least a 550 gallon tank at least if not bigger so you know these are things that i they're out of my control right now i'm doing things that i can work on it's not costing me a whole ton of money uh you know so people are going to say, well, you just put all that money into the gravel, into the road. Uh, you know, that's a group effort. That's from my group and stuff like that. So that's where that money's coming from uh, to do that road work. But uh, as far as, you know, the other thing, and everything is important. Don't get me wrong. Every, everything that we do that makes it better for us here is important. Now, we were actually talking as a group the other day, and I had said... Uh, if we do have a true SHTF situation, let's say it happened fairly soon. I have two 250-gallon totes that we can utilize. We would be down in that spring as a group cleaning that out, getting that squared away, and doing what we needed to do. Okay, So that's not something that I'm not thinking about. Water is very, very important, and I get it. Um, I think that I have, and this is just my opinion, you guys can disagree with me and that's perfectly fine. Like I said, I'm not taking it the wrong way. Uh, I think I'm going to be okay through this winter. Now, hopefully SHDF doesn't happen this winter. That would be a good thing. Uh, if it does, we'll deal with that accordingly when that time comes. It's just everything is going to take time. And, uh, you know, as I go back to New York and keep bringing things back, we'll just continue to work on things that way as well. And I have piping up there that I want to bring down, uh, that I can utilize down here. So there, there's a lot to it, and I, you know, there's a lot going on. But uh, I will get water squared away. It may not happen as fast as some of you would like. Um, and I understand that water needs to be a priority. But like I said, right now it's just not feasible. For the cost of what I need to do uh, to develop, i got to build a retaining wall. I have to do all kinds of stuff. And so... Um, that may come um, as a priority here a little bit later. Uh, right now, like I said, you know, I've been working on the road. Uh, so that, that has been a huge, a huge drain on money there. Uh, you know, getting the uh, root cellar started. I find that a, a priority with everything going on that I feel like that is important that I get that going and get that utilizing that. And safety is a huge concern, obviously, with that as well. Um, I do have the materials here that I had picked up, uh, the post, plywood, and uh, true 4x4s, or 2x4s, I'm sorry, 2x4s two, two, uh, two that I picked up that I'm going to utilize and make a box around that so that uh, as where I'm at, I'm, I'm about 7 foot deep in one corner right now. Uh, after I did the video, I continued working, and I have like one corner is down to 7 feet. 
Uh, there's a platform basically of dirt that I'm at five feet and then there's another step down. So I've kind of like here's a step down and then down. And so what I need to do is I need to dig out the corners all the way around so that I can put in those posts and they're all level all at the same level and then I'll build up the, the box. Uh, that's going to be a priority as well before I get any deeper. I don't want to get any deeper than I am right now because seven feet is over my head. If there's a collapse, it could be very catastrophic. Now, I will say this. Some of you were saying I shouldn't be doing this alone. When I was digging yesterday, Steve was here. So um, just I was not doing it alone. I realize the dangers, obviously. Um, if there is a collapse, it could be the end of Prepper Nurse 1. But uh, it's, you know, I don't heard all people say dig out do this do that do the other thing again um, I don't have the equipment or the money to have a machine come in and dig out the area that I want to have done okay and I don't want to disturb the top of everything I want to keep it the way it is so that it doesn't look any different than it was before uh, again even though I'm going to be showing you the progress of the bunker root cellar combination because it's going to be a combination of both and so, okay, so here's something else somebody had asked. Is it going to be just for me or is it going to be for my group as well? I want it to be big enough that it would be for my group as well. Um, so I had Angry Prepper had asked me because I was talking to him about it. He said, how long is it going to take you to get done what you want to do underground? And I said, years. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I want to do. Um, it's going to take a long, long time. And I realized that. So step thing and day, right? STD. Work at it methodically, get things done, safety is a priority. Uh, once we get down to the level that I want to be at and we start to dig in, then we're also looking at going in like two feet, shoring that all up, making sure that that is safe, and going from there. So it's just, it's going to be a process. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time, and that's okay, and I don't mind that. Um, that fan is going to help for circulation of fumes, getting the fumes from the... Uh, you know, the uh, um, jackhammer out of there. So it's going to make a big difference. But anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm going to let this video go. I'm going to try to get this up as soon as I possibly can. It may take at least another hour. It's after, I think it's after 4 right now. So it'll be a while before this goes up. But live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Join me. More than happy to answer your questions in the live stream if you have them about the bunker, what we're doing at the property, water, whatever you want to ask. Um, I have no problem with that. I do have a game plan. Trust me, I do. Um, just trying to facilitate what I can do right now. All right? Remember, we're all in this together. We are one race called the human race. Uh, as soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you guys all later. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.